Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, again, sorry about last episode there. Uh, I, I hope that it's not too bad. Missiles! Useful, but... Well, useful. Yeah, you don't want to jump down there. The only reason that is there is to let you recover in case you royally botch this. And this is the lore that the game was, or the walkthrough was talking about. The power of our temple has been enough to halt the spread of the poison on Talon 4, but that which remains thrives and grows more concentrated, gnawing on itself in the dark passages beneath the planet's surface. Whether it can ever be truly destroyed is not for our eyes to see, but there is something else. We Chozo are drifting, trembling through, tumbling through space and time as the great poison eats away at our sanity. We wake in dreams as the veil of lunacy descends as past and future blend and shuffle. One image appears and flickers through the landscape, wraith-like. It is the hatchling, the newborn, walking the path of corruption, a lone figure shining in the toxic shadows. She comes dressed for war, and her wrath is terrible. Do our eyes look backward, seeing the hatchling as she once was? Or does she approach even now, arriving in our race's last hour? A savior, clothed in machines crafted long ago by Chozo hands. Poisonous clouds drift across our vision. And that's power bomb expansion. Yay! Power bomb expansion! Power bomb capacity can be increased by one. So, yay! I don't remember if those would ever make a comeback in later games either. I was right. I thought there was something over there. I remembered something similar to that. Something to that effect. Oh. More ghosts. Oh no.
fire. Fantastic. Again, I'm sorry I'm not talking all that much, guys. Um, I just... I kind of want to get through this at this point. Um, it's 3 in the morning, and I have a doctor's appointment at 1 in the afternoon, which, of course, means that I have to drive for an hour to get to this doctor's appointment. Um, to get there, and then I have another hour to get back. Kind of a pain in the ass. But there's not much I can do about it. Remember this spot here? there's anything else we can get in the Chozo Ruins. Um, two Chozo Ghosts appear. Get an energy tank. Uh, missile expansion. Let's head to Magmore Caverns. Okay. So, the next stop is Magmore Caverns, which I don't remember how to get to from here. Um... We have to go here. No, I don't want to. And indeed, I don't have to deal with you. Like I said, I'm I'm very tired, and also I have to drive for a long, long time tomorrow. <laughs> And I'm really not looking forward to it. Boy, we almost have all the energies in the game. Like, we're actually almost to the end here. Um, truly, the, uh... Omega Pirate, I believe, is actually the next boss we have to fight. I'm pretty sure the, fa uh, the Plasma Beam is the last required item uh, before the Omega Pirate. Um, and of course, with the Omega Pirate, you get the Phazon suit. It's really badass looking. Um, and it's pretty useful, too. I mean, it doesn't seem all that useful at first, other than, again, just looking badass. Oh, wait, no. I shouldn't have slowed down. Shouldn't have hesitated. But, uh... I don't remember. Yeah, the, the phase on suit, that's right. The phase on suit is really useful. Uh, it, it feels like we just got the gravity suit, of course. But uh, the phase on suit is just around the corner. Now, we're, we're at about 10 minutes in. I'm just going to go ahead and drop down to the, uh, the safe point here. by a blast of uh, hot air and suddenly the visor fogged up. It's like, thanks, I can't see where I'm going now. Alright. Next time on Skidward Gaming, we're going to get the, well, we're going to get a few things, but uh, the plasma beam is one of them. So, until then, 
this is the end of this recording session. So next time on Scheduled Gaming, it's going to be a week from now. And oh, I mentioned before that I've got a doctor's appointment. It's nothing serious. It's not. You know, I'm just. I'm going for a physical. This was the only time of the year that the doctor does physicals. If that weren't the case, I would have canceled because honestly, I really just don't feel like driving all the way down to Alamogordo for this. But it's been a long time since I've had a proper physical, and uh, this is supposed to be a proper physical. So it's it's nothing life threatening or anything like that. It's just a physical. Um, but that's tomorrow, or well, it's today. It's in less than 12 hours, which means I have like eight hours in which to sleep, which is not enough for me. So until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.